In this second part of multi-part series, I will continue comparing HP Aruba Instant, Rookus Unleashed, and Ubiquiti Unify Wi-Fi 6 access points for home use. This time, I am taking a look at performance difference, including throughputs and range. Let's get started. Since I only have a couple Wi-Fi 6E capable client devices right now, and one of them is wired, I've decided to stick with Wi-Fi 6 access points. This helps the cost for enterprise graded gears, especially on the second-hand market like eBay or Amazon Refurbished. For the detail of cost comparison, please refer to the future episode. Specifically, I am comparing following models for each vendor. Unify U6 Professional, Rukus R750 and R350, Aruba Instant AP535. All four models are Wi-Fi 6 capable. Other than R350, they all have 4x4 MIMO support on 5 GHz band. On today's episode, I will specifically compare followings. Max throughput, rise time, range throughput, area of coverage, density throughput comparison between R750 and AP535. Unless otherwise specified, following general setup are used. For the client device, iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is 2x2 Wi-Fi 6 device. Access point transmission power set to auto or max. For this test setup, client device was positioned less than 5 feet from the access point with full line of sight. For the test method, I use iPerf with basic command line without any extra argument, which were run at least twice and pick the better of the two. If there is significant variation between two data set, repeat it again until the data appears to be stabilized. One of the main metrics I use to assess the quality of Wi-Fi access point is the Wi-Fi efficiency, which is defined by actual throughput divided by wireless link speed, PHY. Since the PHY is essentially defined by Wi-Fi standard, MIMO, and the actual signal strength, it is the same across all access points at close proximity. But the practical throughput differs due to internal hardware and software optimization on the access points. Normally, Wi-Fi efficiency is said to be in the range of 50 to 70 percent. However, in the past, consumer gears and Unify are all fell more in the range of 50 to 60 percent. In fact, the latest Ubiquiti Unify official site says the expected efficiency is indeed 50 to 60 percent. U6 Pro perfectly falls under this range. However, both Aruba Instant and Rukus Unleashed are well above that. Particularly, the download throughput on both Rukus access point exceeded 70%, which is something I've never seen before. Rise time is analogous to acceleration time in cars. For this, I look at the time it takes the throughput to reach its first peak. Both Rukus and Aruba access point have essentially instant rise time. Even though R750 look to have taken a second longer than R350 or AP535 to reach its first peak throughput, it actually started out faster than any other AP, so we could argue it actually took zero to reach the peak. Rise time concept is indeed the biggest learning point for me when I first compared Rukus Unleashed setup to Unify. For what I recall, Unify access point had always have slow steady rise in its throughput over the first few seconds, as shown on the current test. So why do we care? Rise time is a common concept in electronics, which is analogous again to the acceleration time in cars. 
I think the shorter write time translates into the faster data transfer during small file transfers. In fact, I have personally experienced this. When I transfer multiple 50 to 100 megabyte size files from local NAS server to Wi-Fi client, there were always a few seconds of stall between each file transfer to start with the Unify setup. However, with Aruba and Rukus setups, new file download starts immediately when the other one is finished. At one point, I also wondered if this had some effect on the smoother, faster web page loading, but this could be more of subjective, perhaps placebo effect. If it's real, then there may be some other factor than rise time since most web pages are fairly small in their file size. On this part of the test, I have positioned the client device approximately 30 feet from the access point with full line of sight but partly surrounded by wall. Again, iPerf was used for the testing purpose. Here I saw Aruba AP535 outperformed all other access points in both upload and download throughputs. U6 Pro was again consistently the lowest performing on both upload and download amongst the all four access points. The interesting result here to me was actual performance of the access point 535 because R750 had actually better signal strength than AP535 at this location. For this part of the test, I have positioned client device less than 5 feet and moved far approximately 30 feet from the access point, both with full line of sight. RSSI were measured using AirMac app. Compatible range throughput comparison in different areas of my home were also compared. RSSI is a signal strength seen by client device. Not surprisingly, it highly depends on the transmission power of the access point, as well as the other factors such as receptor sensitivity and temporalization. It is important to note that dBm is a logarithmic scale unit, so difference in 3 dBm means twice the power level difference. 6 dBm is therefore 4 times and so on. From straight line of sight RSSI comparison, although it was expected based on the specification, it's quite impressive that R750 still retained very high RSSI at 30 feet mark. Based on the dBm difference, it has 10 times more signal strength power the client device at this point than R350 or AP535. Storage in basement is where I put my network rack, NAS servers, but this area is surrounded by concrete walls. So this is one of the area in my home that's Wi-Fi unfriendly. So usually Wi-Fi signal is best transmitted from the level above located access point. With all three access points placed on the same spot, same orientation, Rukus R750 maintained solid connection with very respectable throughput. AP535 also was able to show relatively high average throughput but the speed varied quite a bit during the 30 seconds iPath testing. As for U6 Pro, its average number is very misleading. It looks as if the arranged throughput in this area was matching the capability of AP535. However, as shown by minimum throughput number of 0, it kept losing Wi-Fi connection in this area. This persisted even after a couple additional measurements. So practically the Wi-Fi connection at this point with Unify was unreliable. Even though both Aruba Instant and Rukus Unleashed access points showing phenomenal performance, I remember Rukus sponsored, designed, test comparing specifically R750 and AP535 for high density setting. They have concluded Rukus is vastly superior in the setting. Although I can't do anything close to the real density test, I thought I might throw a pseudo density test to see if I can at least see their conclusion is not readily rejectable. For this setup, client device to access point 
were placed approximately 10 feet. Both access points were placed at the exactly same spot, one at a time. During this testing, iMac was playing online stream with AirPlay casting on Apple TV across the room. All measurements were repeated at least twice to evaluate relative stability. Max Swing is a dataset that had a biggest variation between min and max throughput. It's very important to admit this is not even close to scientifically sound high density throughput test. The real high density throughput test requires multiple client devices not only connected but should be performing active data transfers simultaneously. They need to be high enough to stress the systems. If anyone is interested, the only data I can see is again Rukus's own funded designed comparison study published by Paquet6. On this very non-scientific test, I certainly didn't put enough stress to neither access point, but the different throughput appears relatively significant. This is not necessarily validating Packet 6 test, but I could not invalidate it, and the result I am seeing can support their test result. Despite test-like throughput provides objective data, these data have a significant variation due to multifactorial nature of Wi-Fi performance. The things that can affect the performance range from Wi-Fi interference, underlying network congestion, access point internal processing timing, and others. Despite I tried to put a reasonable effort to match confounding factor variables, I did not stop or restrict my home Wi-Fi use during these tests as that would not go well with my family. In fact, I have certainly noticed variations of test results myself when I measured things in different days, different timing. For example, when the original max throughput on R350 were measured along with other access points, it did not do so well on the upload despite it was only serving a single client. Later on a different day, when I measured its throughput at the same location, I got higher throughput results despite it had 12 other clients being connected. Another example is when changing wired network path from access point to NAS, the throughput changed counterintuitively. With full end-to-end -end 1 gigabit per second connection, Rukus APs fairly consistently outperformed Aruba access point 535 with Rukus having multiple upper 800s iperf runs, while Aruba's best is lower 800s. When the wired connection path is changed to include 10 gigabits per second path, no access point could reach above 800s. Then more importantly, Aluba access point actually had more consistent, slightly higher throughput than Rukus APs. These two examples confirms viability of the test results that are beyond access point itself, and they can even affect relative performance difference amongst different access points. So the take home message here is do not take my numbers as absolute. In summary, my key interpretation of these test results are Enterprise access points performance is objectively superior to U6 Pro, including significant difference in rides time. Rukus Unleashed R750 has higher range performance than the others. Though both Aruba and Rukus access points Wi-Fi efficiency are very impressive, when proper condition is met, Rukus access points should have higher maximum Wi-Fi efficiency than Aruba Instant AP535. Rukus R750 is suggestive of having better high density throughput than Aruba AP535. But how do these results really translate into end user experience, especially as a home user? I believe most home users will be able to appreciate the performance difference between U6 Pro and other three enterprise access points. However, the actual value of benefit between these devices would vary amongst users. For example, I have certainly noticed faster multiple small consecutive file transfer between the local NAS server to Wi-Fi client device, primarily due to the fact enterprise access points have no wait time between files. 
while U6 Pro had at least 2 to 5 seconds before each file starting to download. But if I transfer only 10 files, that's merely 20 to 50 seconds difference a day as compared to 100 files which would result in maximum 500 seconds difference. I will take a closer look into cost performance comparison in the future episode, but you can see the value really comes down to one's usage and how much one think their time is worth. Despite Ruka's APs are objectively superior to Aluva Instant 535 in most performance, how this translates into end user experience is much harder. First, the difference is relatively small. Second, as a home user, we are unlikely to be pushing these systems to their limit in normal daily use. Thanks for watching.